stress out like it was shampoo. You should stay. It can change. It's good days and bad days. But one day down the line, this time is sure to stop. So the only time is now for a go. Just try it. The smell of damp leaves, the fresh country air. I'm not camping in your manky tent, catching croak throat like this is trashy. But if you don't go away this weekend, I can't take Lizzie away. Seriously? Dex, we've been through this. Camping's whack. How do you know? You've never been. Dex, I ain't never jabbed a compass in my eye, neither. No thanks. Nero, you're going on that camping trip. Give it up, Dex. You ain't my dad. You should be mowing your lawn with that. Helpful. Thanks. I've got a mate who buys claps out heaps of junk. Decent price. Middleman fee for me, of course. I'm sure it just needs a bit of oil or something. Yeah. Oh, morning, Graham. All set for the camping trip tonight? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to talk to you about that. Your hair is looking superb, by the way. Thank you very much. The thing is, the footy's on tomorrow. It's a semi-final, which, you know, as head of sport, I really should watch for professional development. I hear what you're saying. Right, great. But I think that you would develop even more by having new experiences. Like spending the weekend with our wonderful, inquisitive pupils. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all great. The thing is, I don't want to go. I understand. Good. But the more you don't want to go, the more you should feel the fear, Graham. Do it anyway. taking that camping? Of course not. This is the potting to the Excelsior Deluxe. It would be sacrilege to get it muddy. Oh, so it don't fold out into a camp bed then? See, I feel you mocking, but I'm the one with adjustable leather compartments, so I win. All right, dimples. <laughs> Where's your tent? <sighs> Millionth time, I'm not going. <laughs> Camping's about the only thing lamer than that briefcase. No way. Poking fires, stalking sheep, throwing slugs at girls. It's gonna be mint. What? See, these are our role models, yet they judge us when we fail. I need salt and vinegar. Cheese and onion? Why? I thought the blue ones were salt and vinegar. A pound? I'm 50p up. And I can still get a packet of salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar. Great. Now I've got two packets of pumpkin crisps. I don't even want. What? Do you think that every time you put in 50p, you get a pound? This thing's a gold mine. you reserve looks delightful. Beach views, balcony, pool, even the hot tub looks inviting. Yeah, good, isn't it? How would you like your coffee, Miss Baker? With milk, Mr. Harris. I didn't worry it was a bit far, but actually, it'll be lovely to spend the drive together, won't it? Yeah, the drive. Sugar? Please. The thing is, well, near is, and then my car might be but, no, it'll be fine. Oh, Lizzie, you look like you could do with a break. Tired eyes. How about I let you take the school camping trip? Leaves this afternoon. Thank you, but uh, I'm spending the weekend with a close friend. <sighs> what about you, Aris? You haven't got any friends. Actually, I'm doing the same. I mean, not the same same, something similar, but completely different to Lizzie, because, pff, you know, I mean, uh, I might even go. I mean, I might have to stay at home. Who knows? What is wrong with you? You're joking, Miz. I 
you stop scuffing Chris and taunting people who can't have Chris of their own? Where'd you get him? Definitely not from this machine. This is like, totes messing with my human rights. Oh, what are you going on this to? It's too exciting. I'm trembling like jelly on the books. Simple pleasures of nature, innit? I can't get enough of them. Simple pleasures of dancing, more like. They better not be your actual moves. Festival's near the campsite. We're sneaking out. Great bands. Street down stage. You should check out. Yeah, I think I'm in. Oh, so camping's lame, but when you play mask. Eli, stop it. <laughs> anyway, you'd all be gutted if I didn't come along. Besides, someone's got to show you how it's done, eh? Settle down. <laughs> Look. Briefcase twins. Oh, there's nothing funny about me and Mr. Bell having excellent taste. So, look, identical cases. Just put it away, garlic. You look absolutely <laughs> ludicrous. Isaac, mate, we rarely get to chat. You and I should. That's because you made me run cross country in my pants that time. <laughs> that was a laugh, weren't it? I mean, that was terrible of me. But how about I make it up to you with a free holiday? Oh, Graham, there you are. All right, just having a chat. Oh, good news. I've arranged for the second period to be free, so you can do an equipment check with the pupils. <sighs> Come on, Graham. Embrace the change. Plunge in. Enjoy having a weekend that's not just about watching football in some pub. Right. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> the benefits of this voyage of discovery just became clear to you, didn't they? Like a widescreen pub TV. <laughs> you what? Shut it. Right, you, if there's any spares, I want them back, please. They're not for you to make paper aeroplanes. Yes, thank you. He's got... there's a... A what? Right. Tent inspection. Next period. Ah, Mr Nunn. <laughs> yep. Next period. Bring your gear to the field. Will there be proper toilets? Yeah, with mirrors and that. I'm peeing my face like a tiger. No, you ain't. Of course there'll be toilets. There'll be Wi-Fi, port scratchings, massive TV screens, pinball... In the lakes? Nope. Now we're camping behind the King's Head pub in Brigsbury. Yeah, and it's only ten miles away, so no boring coach trip, which is a total bonus. What? Right, move it, everyone! Last one to put their tent up has to get the first round in. Go, go, my tent. See you there, yeah? Hey, 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 no running! You can't just move the campsite like that. You sort of already did. Yeah, well, I'm sort of getting a move back. Yeah. This is total down, mate. Ding dong. Where's the wig? No, he doesn't. He does. I seen a spare one in this case. That's bonkers, even for you. Who has a spare wig anyway? Someone who wears a wig. Anyway, I can prove it. Open your briefcase. Why? Because it's not yours. I swapped them. What? You did what? He didn't notice. Go on, open it. This is stolen goods. Oh, fine, punk. I'll do it. This is Mr. Bell's personal property. I'm going to take it back to him right now. Just give me it. Hey, Martha and Arthur, tent inspection. Now! Imagine I'm a rabbit. I've got rabies and I want to get in your tent. Is it up properly? Is it? Um, Mrs. Goodnight, hello. It's the landlady of the King's Head Pups. As you know, Mr. Nunn has arranged for your school to camp in our car park this weekend. He ain't told you. Awkward. It's much easier with two hands, you know. Maybe I can hold your case. No. We have no right to it. Yeah. Maybe you're right. You're right. <laughs> no, what are you doing? Get off it! No! Oh, oh sick of this. I will look for you, I will find you, and I will open that briefcase! 
What would the scouts or Her Majesty say? If they knew I had Mr. Bell's property, it offends all morals, defies all laws, so I must keep it out of Eli's paws. He'll stop at nothing until he finds it. I can't let that happen. Just have to hide it. In my locker, he'd just break into it. He doesn't respect the rules one little bit. Hide it somewhere else, he'd get a whiff of it. He'll force me to tell him where I've hidden it. I better think quick, I'm getting sick of this. Since I'm a terrible liar, I'm very ticklish. Where's Owen going with the case? If I can show the world that wig, I'll be famous. I'd be signing copies of my book with the cover. How I found Ding Dong's wig, top seller, yeah. A true story. I'm doing this for the guts and the glory. Carried on the shoulder of all my supporters. Well, I lift the wig up like a trophy. All I hear is screams from the crowd. Mr. Bell kneels down and I put the wig back on his head like a clown's jester hat. Yep, I say yes to that. Now why would you want to go and mess with that, eh? I guess I'll have to skip lessons, live on my wits, then duck out between breaks for food and drinks, bring it back to my cave and lurk in the shadows. I can't get caught by one of Eli's arrows. If I can stay safe, even if I get in trouble, I can return Mr. Bell's case on the double. I have to be careful who I trust on the run with a case. Must stay shut. change of camping venue. Yeah, the King's Head. They've got a cracking carvery. The kids are going to love it. You know, journey of discovery and all that. Unfortunately, when the parents discover that the children aren't where we said they'd be, they are going to make a journey to my office. So, um... The lakes. Exactly. <laughs> Great show of initiative, though. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Hi. Yeah, I'm just phoning to confirm a room booking. Sir? This just came off in my hand. I don't really know what it is, but I'm pretty sure it should be in there rather than out here. But you no said... No one likes a Debbie Downer, sir. Just take it into a proper garage, you'll be laughing. A couple of hundred quid should do it. A couple of... I just paid for a spa. I can't afford that. I really feel for you. Bye. Just wanted to check what time you think we ought to set off Lizzie, tomorrow. I need to talk to you about this weekend. You do? A coffee? Yes, that'll be lovely. I'll see you in the staff room at lunch for one. Or private. Sure. I'll see you there. It's pathetic! What are you playing at, Johnson? <laughs> You dreamt. Your die of exposure in that, and Muggins here will have to deal with the paperwork. Stop being selfish and get yourself a proper tent, or you're not coming, right? Tent inspection over. Get lost. Pleasure doing business with you. All right, sat face. You know begging's all you gone. She's not begging, she's coin collecting. Coin collecting? Oh, my face. That is so the sort of hideous thing that I would expect from you, Sados. You're like Am Freaks Roadshow, which is like Antiques Roadshow, but the freaks instead of the teaks. Whatever. Got any 50p's? I'll give you a good price. I'll give you £1.5 for the both of them. Right, then figures, you better be legit. Otherwise, I'll be giving you so many degrees that you've got to move your kennels. Got that? Pleasure doing business with you. Don't you talk to me. It's all working just as I planned. Yeah, if you plan to lose loads of money. That tent is moth food. You've got to buy me a new one or I can't go on a trip. What? Yeah, well one righteous. But I can't afford a new tent. I've got to fix the car. No, no, Dex, this is more important. No, I'm taking Lizzie on a spa trip this weekend. All right, I see. Second again. Nero! Oh. Man, why is nothing going right? Cos something just go right for once in my life. Everything King my just touch turns to gold. Where everything I touch just turns to mold. It breaks and falls apart, no money to fix it. And now I'm seeing a domino effect for my relationships with Nero and Lizzie. If 
try to fix the car, there's no jacuzzi. If Nero's got no tent, then he'll be moody. No marshmallows on an open fire. And if he can't go away, then I can't take Lizzie away. So do I fix the car or fix the tent? I can't afford both, I've got to make amends. I'm being pulled in two directions again. Why am I never put first? Parents get me took away on when so I'm left with debts. He's supposed to keep me well kept, but instead, you rather keep me in a sleep, bitten tent, not on. Is this how it's gonna be now? Dex jets sitting all around the world with Lizzie Sitting in fancy cars, sipping busy Or is he gonna think about me as some silly tent With more holes in it than a crime pit And it stinks inside like a smelly armpit It's my life, you always gonna turn rubbish Will I always be set into someone or something? No point crying over spilt milk It doesn't solve anything, so I'd rather just help There's only one thing to do, the right thing Help Nero sell the car to buy him Everything he needs for his camp He's top priority and he's a good kid And Lizzie will understand my position And she'll be happy by my fair decision Won't she? You all right, miss? What if you plan a holiday and then you don't think the other person wants to go? Just out with exactly that. People changing things behind your back and only telling you at last minute. You can't pull with it, miss. Or else you don't get no tiger face. You need to sort it. Have a word. Have a word. Right. Right. How much? That offer to help me sell my car, is that still on? Maybe. Even if it needs a bit of work doing? Oh, here we go. Go on, then. What's wrong with the old girl? Just... Not working, not going anywhere, really kind of falling apart. You know, I suspect the whole thing might point its last legs. To be honest, I'll be glad to see the back of it. Stop, you're being way too technical. <laughs> Do you think your friend will buy it this afternoon? For a middleman fee, of course. Which would be? Enough to get one of these to watch a footy semi-final. For a festival. No way. I'm more of a missus, just podium shoes. Six inches to see over the crowd. And buy the dress? Well, goes with the shoes. You seen on? You seen my right hook? Out! Can you even walk in those? Out! Hurricane Nero. Oh, the wind can be cruel, miss. Hey, I gotta buy myself a tent. Say I wash the cars. For a price, of course, say... Oh, five hour car. All right. Could you start with mine? <laughs> cool, miss. Is this for Oh, no. Oh. Miss Goodman again. Ask her to get the campsite moved even closer to the gig. I get it now. And you lot get this. There's no way you're sneaking off to any gig. Like a hawk with bipoles. Sorry. Oh, Are you sure you haven't seen him? He looks just like this. Then he needs a doctor. I'll knock a few quid off. Just get the cash to me quickly so I can buy Nero's tent. 
deck selling this car so I could take a trip out of the school gates into the wilderness. Got the whole crew here getting a feel of this. About time, next put me first. I ain't a runner up, I'm only a young pup, and I don't meant to take care of kids. He can sell his car, and I think it my tent to chillin' and go large and let me live. And I get to keep the money that I made from the cars that I clean, even though I mess them up. I still did a good job, made a few bob, and I know what to do. Wish me best of luck. When you put two and two together. Now watch how a real man drives. So can't sell this car, can't buy me a tent That's my loss, but I'm still gonna camp Still gonna get the stuff that I need With the money from the car wash, yeah? <laughs> Good luck, great ride Pleasure doing business, till next time So why do I feel weird? And when I'm having fun, what's Dex gonna do? With no car, no cash, no holiday for list You'll probably dump here in a second too And then Dexter will be broken hearted Lose his job as a head of the music department End up on the streets in a cardboard tent All the kids from my school working past it Just doing the fun thing and doing the right thing And I'm not really sure which one's it and now I'm so confused, I just don't know what I'm gonna do And now I'm so confused, I just don't know what I'm going to do Do you think your friend might... Stay away from me! <laughs> Lizzie, I need to tell you something. It's a bit difficult, but, um... You want to break up? I heard. Could what? I have your attention, when? everybody, but... please? Um, since Mr Nunn has unfortunately injured himself, I'll need somebody else to take the camping trip. I'll do it. Oh, Miss Baker. Well, thank you ever so much. I've got nothing else to do this weekend. Oh, Dexter, I'll have a tea while you're at it. Thanks. Oh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, watch how Magic Machine turn these little beauties into pound coins. Well, that's not entirely unexpected. Liability. It just isn't working. That must be why I put the sign on. But earlier, I put a couple of pound coins in there and it just ate them. I mean, honestly, nothing works around here. You can't even get a packet of crisps. Interest you in some crisps? All reasonable offers to be I implore you, as your patrol leader and as your friend soon, the mystery of the wig will be revealed to the world. Bill's a scout. Mm. Let me guess, he likes cheese sandwiches as well. Cheese? How did you know? Because that's my case, you Melvin. It can't be. I, I swapped them. I did the old three step swap. Place case one. Your case, by case two, look casual. Swap their positions, look casual. Take the case in the original position of case two and... Oh. Maybe crime just isn't your thing. Sir, your briefcase, yeah? It's the same as Owen's. I think he's swapped them. I can assure you, sir, I did no such thing. He's denying it, so it's probably true. You should open it and check. Uh, 
Wig. Wig, wig. It's not a wig. It's a carpet sample for my living room. Ah, it's my rock and sunset. My things are, are, are shattered. It's not a wig. Hey. Hey. I don't want to break up with you. Why would you? Next step, please. I heard you telling Mr. Nunn that our relationship is falling apart. And you know what? I agree. What? No, I was talking about my car. There was a problem with the engine and the nun was trying to help me sell Yo, it. Yo, Dex, look, I made a lot of money washing cars today. Right. And I want you to have it. Go get your heap of junk fixed, yeah? Wow. But why? I know you was going to sell it to raise money for my tent. Appreciate that. Thank you, Nero. I'm so sorry. I misunderstood. Now we can afford the trip. Oh, the hot tub. Ah, oh, I'll have to see if Mrs. Goodman will let me off the camping trip. Hey, nurse, can you stick the footy on for us? There's a love. Yes. Thank you for letting me share your tent with you. Horrible, isn't it? Hope you don't get washed away like that festival up the road. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Snap. You were right. This is Jones. Beats Captain eh? Live with them and you can't get them out. When you're up, they rub it in your face, kick you when you're down. But when no one understands them, you know what they're on about. Always gonna be around, gotta find a common ground. If you know so much about me, where do I go from here? If you see him every day, you can never get away. Only time that you're the boss, four o'clock. 